The year 2021 began with a lockdown that affected a lot of operations, but we thank God for he remained faithful to see us through. At the beginning of the year, we came up with Triennial Strategic Plan, which was drawn from the Union and World Church Roadmap. The strategic plan was launched to pastors and to church board members in all the 47 districts. Strategic document hard copies were availed to some, while others got the soft copies. <laughs> Our reporting has been aligned to I will go, and districts will be assessed quarterly while all church workers will be appraised by their immediate supervisors at least twice a year on the I will go initiative. Mission The Women's Ministries Department conducted two weeks virtual efforts. Audios, videos and texts were distributed mostly via WhatsApp. Most of our churches participated. I was one of the women's ministries evangelists for the virtual campaign. I feel enriched, uplifted and edified. I've learned that it is in working for others that my own soul is kept alive. I am filled with inner joy and peace that comes from an appreciation that I'm an instrument in the hands of the maker. Those I reached out to they were happy to receive the assurance that Jesus watches over them, even though they do not see him. They appreciated the wonderful love of Jesus and the fact that he is coming again to take us home. The main efforts were done in small groups across the conference. Due to the pandemic, social media evangelism was instrumental in winning souls. Heavoy FM is broadcasting Sabbath school and divine service sermons every Sabbath. We have so far baptized 892 souls out of our annual goal of 5,000. The conference participated in the distribution of the Book of the Year, Hope in Troubled Times, and up to date, 3,709 books have been distributed. Churches and institutions bought the book and the program is continuing up until the end of the year. VOP lessons were distributed in all districts while others participated in an online platform. Colorful graduations took place in Gweru Central, Gweru East, Anderson and Gweru North and 373 students have graduated. We thank the union for providing Bibles as they made the program more meaningful and appealing to our students. Spiritual growth, increase in participation, KPI 6.5. The conference has come up with an old Judah initiative, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 12, which aims at increasing number of participants in the area of stewardship. We ran the quarterly stewardship week of emphasis under the theme, Putting God First, and delivered material via text, audio and video through Facebook. All our districts participated in this program. The long-term impact still remains to be seen, but the short-term feedback indicates that the program was a success. Nine cattle have been retained as tithe, and two were offered as offering. We are targeting 300 tons of maize to be retained as tithe. Close to 4,000 out of the targeted 6,000 grain bags have been distributed. <laughs> Uti, you know, we live 
ukuthi lifike esigabeni esokuthi lithi lina kumele kuzebalwa inkomo laphekhaya eh kunohlelo olwe i will go ohlelo lolu injongo yalo lalolunye ikubana ama kholo akhule ekukholweni mhm kolokhu sikwenza nje sikholwa kuba kunkulunkulu uza siphakamisa ekukholweni simkhonze ngcono simethembe ngcono in response members are encouraged to read a chapter per day in the revived by his word initiative the children's ministries department has distributed 60 bibles to children to nurture their spiritual growth our january to april tithe gross income rose to 25 million $712,157.16, an amount well above a budgeted income of $25,280,688.36 for the same period. Gross offerings for the same period were $8,210,829.34 against a budgeted income of $1,893,571.02. Our working capital was at 83% and liquidity at 105% as at 30 April 2021. Leadership. A Zoom workers big supper was conducted for all conference workers and their families. It was focused on lockdown ministry where workers were being challenged to work for the master regardless of the pandemic. Another Zoom meeting was done to launch the I will go initiative. A zoned pastors meeting was conducted to evaluate the work of the first quarter especially focusing on the Mashingo Ngamu project. There was a 3-day workers meeting for all pastors at Baptist Seminary. Issues of church policy framework interpretation and procedures, finance, stewardship and ministry in covid times were expounded on. Central Zimbabwe 2021 to 2023. Yes Lord. I will go. Yes, Lord. I will go. There was also a workers meeting for conference office workers dwelling on policy and office etiquette. Heads of schools convened for a heads meeting at Adventist Health Practice. They received presentations from officers as well as the education director. Our conference has 47 districts, 480 churches, 125 companies, and our membership stands at 161,958. Members in ACMS stand at 71,200. ACMS trainings are underway and two districts have been trained so far and more are to be trained soon as we are looking forward to have entered 2000 names by end of June. I've been using ACMS from last year and it has really helped me with um, compiling reports and being up to date with the transfers, the removals, the duplicates, which makes it very easier for um, compiling monthly reports and weekly reports as well as uh, annual reports. In response to our key strategic issues on conference realignment, in the first quarter, the conference engaged in a fundraising project to purchase a house earmarked to be used as an office for the Mashingo Conference. Promotions were done in all districts and close to 80,000 US dollars was raised towards the purchase of this property. This quarter, the conference is working on raising the balance to finish paying off for this house. We are also working on developing Ngamu into a vibrant conference center. A borehole has already been drilled at Ngamu and we look forward to fencing it soon. A garden project was set up at CZC offices to boost funds towards Ngamu project. We are happy that Mundondo High School opened its doors for boarders this year. 34 Form 1 learners from all over the country were enrolled and we thank God for his leading. We have managed to enroll 34 Form 1 students effective first term 2021 and we have uh, 
20 females and 14 males. We have started fairly well in terms of diet. We haven't experienced any challenge. We are saving uh, some kind of um, a high class vegetarian diet. We have a number of challenges as pioneers in this project because uh, in terms of infrastructure we are not really there yet. We have a number of structures that we still need to upgrade and we are still um, looking forward to assistance from different uh, sectors, the corporate world, the church and the parents at large so that we upgrade our school to a high class uh, state of the art type of infrastructure is our goal and our key um, hope that by the end of the year we'll be able to recruit more students next year. In another school development, Save School in Chiredzi opened its doors as a satellite school under Mupinga. 48 learners were enrolled for Form 1. Our hope is that next year it can enroll its first borders once the dormitories are in place. My aspirations are for it to really become a boarding school. Our enrollment currently is at 48 one learners and we only have four months, two classes. Uh, we have four teachers and currently we are offering eight subjects. I aspire for the t uh, school especially to even have a Pathfinder club so that these uh, children can also learn more about God more than the academic part because most of our learners are local at the moment and they are non-SDA. We are on a mission to bring them to God so that they learn more about Christ more than they learn academically. We aspire also for it to become a boarding school before two years is up. Our districts are doing well in the area of community service. Our motto is, I will go giving hope to communities. Chivi South built a house for a pre adventist family. Mafuba also built a house for a widow. Triangle paid fees for school children. Gweru Central donated millimil to members with special needs. In Zimoto district, 10 children are being assisted with school fees. Women's ministries in partnership with ADRA also donated foodstuffs to the lower Gwalu community. Mashingo South distributed 130 masks to deaf people in Mashingo and Kutu. We held school boards for five schools, namely Lower Golo High School, Lower Golo Primary, Anderson High School, Anderson Primary, and Hanke High School. We expect to have more boards next term. Our schools are doing their best to survive the pandemic. Lower Golo has started a uniform project where they are now producing all their uniforms from the campus. They also had a bumper harvest of groundnuts. Young people participated in the 2021 Global Youth Day. Every corner of the conference, the youth donated various goods and food items to the community. Youths also participated in the virtual Youth Week of Prayer which was conducted on Facebook. In our strategic plan, we want to finish building of our office. Demarcations were constructed. The boardroom was partitioned and we hope to furnish it so that it can be a world-class venue for our future meetings. Finishings were also put in place at the reception area. This quarter great work was done towards completing Masiba Mele and Katawa projects. A visit by the Ministry of Health in Chiredzi to Masiba Mele Clinic was key towards the opening of the clinic. Recommendations were given for the clinic to open and the committees are working on the outstanding things so that soon the clinic can open its doors for the community. A mother's shelter was built during a one-week Sunday at Katawa Clinic. The mother's shelter is now roofed with a few finishing touches to be done. Once we complete this, the clinic will be ready for opening. On a happy note, Lower Guelo Clinic received a massive solar systems donations from the Ministry of Health. A pharmacy is being constructed at the clinic. We were given solar panels through the Ministry of Health and Child Care through our government. Magetsi ya tia badari, ne magei kuti masola pane usa aruku itashese, pana apati no mashandisa pa malaitzi, to mashandisa oku nyangwe ku chengeta ma medicines edu ku farmasi. Saka ya kati betsera chaisho project i, mainly we are now using masola for electricity.